welcome to, today, to today's installment of WGS TV right here on Blog TV and YouTube. I am your official wrestle gamer, Double B, Billy Boudreaux, coming to you on this wonderful October 17th, 2010. Well, I am 24 hours removed from the live GCW event in Amelia, Louisiana, where yours truly actually got to go there. By the way, I'd like to say hi to the people here on my live blog TV chat room right now. I have Andy, Joe Banny Sensation, Rev Jake Slayer. How are you guys doing tonight? Well, we got, I, got a, I am 24 hours removed from the GCW event in Amelia, Louisiana. A lot of stuff happened. A great, It was a great, great show. The post show is up. From I actually made up some more interviews, but this time instead of putting the interviews up one by one on YouTube, I posted them all together into one video, into a one like a, a complete post show video, and be sure you guys check it out. Now, one announcement: if you guys haven't watched the videos yet, is the fact that there were three new inductees into the Louisiana Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. We have Bronco Bob, Mustang Mike, and Psycho Mike. Now, Joe Banny Sensation, very really quickly, if they watch the video here on Blog TV, they will see the chat. Anyway, I'd like to say again, Congratulations to those three gentlemen, Psycho Mike, Mustang Mike, and Bronco Bob for getting into the Louisiana Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's, again, it's a huge honor, especially for people who wrestle here in Louisiana, considering how, fact, how hard it is to put on shows here in Louisiana, especially with the East State Boxing Commission. Be sure that you have all your licenses. Be sure that everyone pa passes the, the, the health examination. Make sure all their blood work is up to date. So, again, congratulations to those three gentlemen. Now, I had the Nate Dog join me on commentary. If you, again, also yesterday's blog, uh, blog video, even though it is up on YouTube, but it wasn't done on here, con considering the fact that they were I could not get on their internet. Uh, quickly explain one more time like I did on yesterday's pre-recorded blog video. I had access to their network, but for some reason, their internet was not turned on. And I feel a little saddened that I could not stream the show like I had prom. Well, I didn't promise it, but I did say that, you know, if it was possible, I would have streamed it, but it was not possible. So I did the next best thing, and I pre-recorded a blog video live from the show, and I did another post show, and all of those videos are up on the other proper websites. Again, that's Facebook, MySpace, www.TheWrestleGamerShow.com, and YouTube. Also, I also have a, a WWE Universe page, guys and gals. It is fans.wwe.com slash double B Cajun. And don't worry, the URL to that page will also be in the description box for this video. Now, as you guys can probably tell, I've been talking about it for, with the, on the live stream for quite some time about getting my place rearranged, getting it cleaned up. So I can actually have a chair in here instead of sitting on my bed to watch TV, broadcast on here, and play video games. As you guys can tell, I'm in the chair. I finally got it done. And what I love about this chair, two things. One, it was a gift from my mother. And secondly, this chair has cup holders. <laughs> so that means I can have a drink or have... A cup like this right here and oh you know what that cup won't fit but anyway <laughs> you kind of get the gist of it you know that have like cup holders or soda holders because I like to drink soda now I want to touch on something very briefly on today's video is the fact that 
My parents, we have received another foster child. Is a a preemie baby, born premature. Five pounds, guys. Very very small. And unfortunately, this morning, this preemie baby was running a fever of a hundred and one. So he was taken into the local children's clinic in New Iberia, Louisiana. I did find out, I don't know if this information is accurate or not, but this poor little child had to have a spinal tap and has been admitted into the hospital. His name is Randy, and you know I just hope that you guys can send out your thoughts and your prayers, even though we've only had this baby for since Thursday night. You know, no child this young or this small should have to go what he's going through right now. So, pl please send out your thoughts for this child, and hopefully he'll be better. Now, a couple of things I would like to address here, if I could... Oh, if I can quickly bring up my YouTube in another tab here very quickly because I would like to read out loud a comment that was posted up on a previous video that I have done a couple of days ago. And if I can read it out loud to you guys, I would love to do that. Hold on, let me see if I can very quickly bring this up here while I still have some time. Here. Okay, this is, let me see, I might have it here. Now this is a video. This is a comment posted on episode 21, which was the 15th, which was Friday's video. And it, this is from YouTube user B Boy Howie, and he says, "I think Jeff Hardy's heel turn was unexpectedly good. He cut great promos like he never before. Also, in my opinion, he carries the Immortals because the majority of them are guys not in their prime." And people that have been put in a group because the bookers have nothing else to do with them. And he also goes on to say, not a bad video overall. So, first of all, B-Boy Howie, thank you again, guys, on YouTube. That is B-Boy, that is the letter B, then boy, B-O-Y, Howie, H-O-W-E-Y. Be sure you send him a good shout-out because he left a comment here on one of my videos. So, I'd like to maybe respond a little bit to that and I might have to agree with with a little bit about that and as Rev Jake Slayer in the live blog TV chat room says Jeff Hardy's heel turn was worse than Stevie Wonder doing a three point turn in a school bus okay <laughs> alright anyway I don't know if it's so much about the bookers, B-Boy Howie. If it's the bookers having anything to do with the fact that they're in a group and have nothing to do with them, it could be about Vince Russo, basically. You know, it might be Vince Russo. He's not really a booker. He's a writer. And, and maybe Vince Russo really has nothing to do with him. So that could be it, basically. Now... I never, I don't think I never, no, I've never had the chance to address Friday Night Smackdown or give my quick thoughts and reactions to it, considering the fact yesterday I was at the GCW event. Again, by the way, be sure you check out the GCW post show video I have up on YouTube and, and MySpace, Facebook, and wherever else there it's up on. Be sure you check it out. And also, a uh, quick shout out to Jordan Job. Thank you for giving me the ride, buddy. Jordan Ja is, um, he's on the video. He wrestled against the Mexican Giant last night. And he actually gave me a ride to the Amelia Louisiana Center. Amelia Recreational Center. And uh, also check it out, guys, because he has a, uh, a very interesting challenge for one Mexican Giant. So be sure you check it out. Now, I want to very quickly address and give my thoughts a little bit about Friday Night Smackdown. Here on today's blog video, you know, it, it was very, we were all 
we all knew ahead of time about the Buried Alive match, and I'm going to go ahead and put up my official protest on it, the official WGS Blog TV stamp of disapproval on this matchup. Why not have it at Survivor Series? Why have it at Bragging Rights? What's the, what's the whole point of doing the Buried Alive match at Bragging Rights? If you guys out there have your own thoughts about this question, you know, be sure you leave me a comment. And just like I did with B-Boy Howie on a previous video, you leave a comment on any of my videos or, the, or in tonight's video. I'll be sure that you guys get officially recognized as well. But again, you know, my thoughts is, you know, why have the Buried Alive match at Bragging Rights? Give me your thoughts and your opinions. You know, should it be, should they still have it at Bragging Rights? Or do you believe that it should be at Survivor Series? My personal opinion, why not have it at Survivor Series? And if Undertaker is on his way out, if they're not going to, if he's not going to uh, last until WrestleMania, they should have it at Survivor Series, the very pay-per-view he debuted at. That is my personal thoughts about that. But I want to hear your personal thoughts about that, ladies and gentlemen. You know, do you believe it's a good idea? Again, is it a good idea to have the Buried Alive match at Bragging Rights? Your thoughts. And another thing, too, is um, as I try to scratch an itch I have on my back real quick here. I'm going to look like an idiot, but it's, you know, if you got an itch, you can't scratch. You got to scratch it. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, as I look like a complete moron, um, the SmackDown team was the de was officially determined on the show, and and they also brought back Tyler Rex, or as I used to call him, Tyler Rex Wrestling. Um, new new appearance for Tyler Rex. He kept the dreadlocks, but now he's got a goatee, so I guess that makes him a heel now and a bad guy and everything. And you pretty much. Uh, they pretty much Caval jobbed at no. Caval's pretty much done nothing but job to people. I mean, he, uh, yeah, sure he, they had him survive the whole five minutes of the big show, but then they get, made him give up his spot to Tyler Rex and a pretty much ass whipping from Tyler Rex wrestling. So, when are, when are things gonna turn around for Caval? Who knows. But um, it was a nice beat down with Undertaker and Kane at the end of SmackDown. And also the fact that Undertaker kind of has Kane's powers now is what they're trying to make it out to. As I'm trying to scratch them back very quickly one more time. It's, that's kind of what they have going on. Now, last thing I want to talk about on tonight's video is the fact that the New Orleans Saints crushed. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean crushed. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31-6. to that was not just a beating, it was a whipping. That's what it was. Saints offense clicked on all cylinders. I believe they ran, they had a balanced amount of plays when it came to run and pass. Chris Ivory was fantastic. I believe he had 15 carries for over 115 yards. Get this, ladies and gentlemen, averaging over 10 yards a carry. That is phenomenal. So, and uh, next week, next Sunday, the Saints take on the Cleveland Browns. So now I'm hoping for another win. Well, that is, again, that is going to do it for WGS TV for today. Be sure you check out the, all the appropriate sites. Again, blogtv.com slash people slash AWWB. YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer. Facebook.com slash the Russell Gamer Show, myspace.com slash double B Cajun and www.thewrestlegamershow.com and just recently added fans.wwe.com slash double B Cajun. Be sure you check out all those appropriate sites. So until tomorrow, I am your official Russell Gamer, Double B Billy Boudreaux. Have a great night, everybody.